Hello everyone, right, quick video um, tell you how to get perfect size hole and screw for your rule plugs every time. Hi, um, right, these are rule plugs, different sizes, different colours denote the size, and <clears throat> these are the originals, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's not RAW, they're not raw plugs, just like it's not duct tape, quack quack, it's duct tape, yeah, and these are raw plugs, it's a brand name. They're not raw. <laughs> anyway, pet eight of mine, people calling them raw plugs, duct, duct tape, quack, quack, yeah. Anyway, so, um, these work really well if you drill the right size hole and you use the right size screw. But not a lot of people realize, um, A, it tells you on the strap. So if I zoom that in there, you can see where my thumb is, look. These gray ones are telling you 10 millimeter drill hole, yep. Uh, and then for the screw size, they tell you minimum five mil, maximum eight mil. That's for the gray ones, they're really big. It's different for the others, but what people don't realize is, if you have a little look on here, these little holes are designed to help you do it. So this one here, look, on the yellows, yellow rule plugs, always the same if they're yellow, Five mil, yeah, right, have a look at that little hole there. Here's a five mil drill bit. Fits in the hole there. Yeah, that's a wood drill. This one's a universal, All right? Thing you gotta watch is if you're using a, a masonry drill bit, trying to focus that for you. Masonry drill bits only cut with the very tip here, which is slightly wider. That's the strong bit that cuts through the brick the block work, the concrete, yeah? The rest of it's not as wide. So don't try and test it with the back end because you'll see <clears throat> the back end's not wide enough, look. Yeah? Oh, I know, trying to look for it, there you go. You wanna test it with the other end which is slightly wider. There you go, that's a good tight fit there. So, that's how you test your drill bit size, yeah? And you've got wood, obviously, for drilling into wood. Unlikely you'd need to use a rule plug if you're drilling into wood, but there are occasions, for example, if you're using, uh, if you're putting a hook to hang your dressing gown up on uh, an internal door. They tend to be made of very thin cardboard and ply, so there's not a lot. So you could, you could put a rule plug in an internal door. Um, you'd also want to use a wood drill bit if you were going into plasterboard. These aren't the best for plasterboard, but they do work. And then obviously Universal does everything. Masonry does masonry. Right, so that's that. And then at the other end of the strap, the other two holes, minimum, maximum, that tells you the screw size, right? So we'll get a screw out of the little box here. Let's have a little look. So will this screw fit into the minimum hole? No, it won't push through that hole. It's too big to go through the minimum hole and it is too small. Oh, no. Too small for the maximum hole. Yep, that's how you test. So this said minimum three mil, maximum four and a half mil. This was right in the middle, and let's have a little look at the box. Aha, look, they're three and a half mil screws. Funny that. So that is the perfect size screw. Doesn't fit in the smallest hole, doesn't fit in the biggest hole. Bang in the middle. So what I tend to do, keep the drill bits that you know work with these raw plugs, which you know work with these screws, in the box. Yeah, same for the big ones. Again, the great brown ones. Just double check so you don't think it was fluke. So this is the brown ones, yeah. Here we go, what do we got on here? Seven mil, yeah? Seven mil. So, here's a seven mil drill bit. Perfect fit in that hole, yeah. Other end, minimum four mil, maximum six mil. Yeah, stick that there, grab some screws out of this box. Let's have a little look. Will it fit in the small hole? No, it's too big. Will it fit in the big hole? No, it's too small. Bang in the middle. And what size are these? Five mil. Funny that. So, in they go. Yeah. And in these go with it. Now, the only other thing I want to tell you is um, hole size. So, a lot of people seem to think that you want to put a little bit of electrical tape. Now, I don't know where this tip came from. It's the sort of thing that come out of the 90s with changing rooms, Carol Smiley, Craig, all of that lot, you know, oh yeah, put a little bit of electrical tape. Absolute nonsense, all right, for several reasons. 
First of all, so if I just try and wedge my camera here, I'll show you what I mean. So what people have, have done in the past is they've suggested that you get a little bit of electrical tape and you measure with a roll plug on your drill bit and you measure how far back the roll plug comes on your drill bit like that and then they're saying right what you want to do is you want to wrap a little bit of tape round your drill bit and that will tell you how deep to drill your hole yeah you drill it through the material until you get to the tape absolute nonsense all right the first reason that's nonsense is if you're drilling multiple holes every time you drill through to this piece of tape it's going to get pushed back slightly every single time you're going to drill until you make contact there and it's going to get pushed back a bit and it's going to get pushed back a bit more so your screw your holes end up the wrong size anyway but the other reason it's absolute nonsense is if you buy proper good quality branded raw plugs don't buy the cheap stuff you'll see they flare out at the end they are wider at the end they've got that stop end there and that's exactly what that's for that's a stop end if you use the correct size drill bit there is no need to worry about how deep your hole is you could drill the hole five miles long if you wanted to this rule plug will never go in past the stop end that's the whole point of it and the other reason that you want your hole to be longer than the rule plug is because most of the time the screw that you're putting in is considerably longer than the rule plug and by the time you've gone through the material you're still going to have a little bit sticking out the back yeah as is illustrated with the instructions here look on the instructions point one drill a hole no mention of measuring for the size yeah and then look at the final bit here with the tick can you see the screw sticks out the back if you'd only drilled your hole the length of the rule plug the screw would be pushing into the material it would then be twisting the rule plug the whole thing would flex and push out of the wall rather than pulling into the wall which is the reason why you end up with a crap fitting so I'll prove that to you now um, try and wedge this up somehow we're going to drill a hole and I'm going to go full thickness um, this is the wrong size so I'm not going to use that. that that was just for illustration it's not actually the right size so we'll go full size with a universal drill bit here in fact no I'll tell you what let's do it properly uh, let's use the yellow ones then so we'll go full size with a masonry drill bit yeah for these yellow ones and I'll drill in as far as I can go and I'll prove to you that that raw plug will not fall into the hole if you use the correct size drill bit don't just make it up people it's very prescriptive that's why they've gone to the trouble of doing this for you you must use the correct size drill bit and screw if you want a proper fixing Anyway, I'll try and wedge this down here um, and I'll give you a little demo then. So, there we go, there's my little wall there. Right, get this, whack it into the drill, drill a hole. Job's a good one. All low budget here, innit? Hey, do you like it? Right, so. Get this bad boy in there. Right, remember, when you're drilling holes, your danger area is for cables, yeah? You want to check there's no sockets, no switches, no isolating switches for fans, anything like that. Anywhere you've got an electrical socket or something, the danger area, imagine there was a plug socket here, the danger area would be directly vertical and directly horizontal from it. <coughs> this wall's completely clear. Also, your danger area is within a set distance above the skirting board, below the ceiling and in from the corners. Can't remember exactly, but anyway, there's no danger areas here. I'll drill the hole, we'll give you a demo. That full length is going in there, look. Put it on your hammer function, full torque. <laughs> right, I've drilled that full length, but this roll plug will sit on the edge there and it can't go any further because it flares out that's what they're designed to do wait there get the impact driver come on baby where are you all right there we go get the impact just to prove it i'm going to ruin my wall in so i'm screwing for you people don't you screw in yep see rule plugs flared 
It's not going any deeper. That will go all the way now. Happy days. All right, so, hope that helps. Next one in my little series. Enjoy.